Good morning, little saints. It's Worshipful Wednesday. We are listening to Worn Out Blues by Clarence Williams. The daily devotion today from Upper Room Devotional Guide was based on Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, where it says, The Word of God is living and active. And the writer of the devotion went on to talk about how he admired his Sunday school teacher over the years because her Bible was so worn out. The pages were falling off. The cover fell off, fell apart. But it's all right because she knew it in her head and in her heart. So as she taught, she knew what verses to pull from and how to how to teach from the Bible. So, it's a challenge for me to read scripture. Is that a bad thing to say? Um, I'm in a disciple Bible study now, and uh, leading a disciple Bible study at the church where I attend. Uh, disciple Bible study is uh, a really, really good Bible study that's been around in the United Methodist Church for many years. Um, but it's hard for me to to maintain that discipline of reading scripture. I know I could not do it. I would not be able to do it without the structure of a study around it. So anyone who can sit down and say, okay, today for an hour I'm reading my Bible and read, you know, either front to back or have a goal of, you know, I couldn't do it. I would need a structure because honestly, sometimes it's difficult for me to find the relevance and more, more often, though, it's hard for me to stay focused. And I think that's a product of, of uh, the constant stimulation that I uh, expose myself to. The video gaming, the really good TV shows, um, you know, the Bible just isn't as entertaining. Although the stories can be crazy. We just got finished reading about the judges. How in the world did the story of Samson become a kid's story? Read it. Horrible guy! Man! So, tell me about what your Bible study practices are. Or if you have any. If you don't have any, what what is it that makes the Bible relevant in your life? Um, and if it's not re relevant, why not? Alright, I'm at the end of the set of vision. Enjoy your day. Peace.